Well, of course, we don't underestimate the seriousness of what we are doing, and, and our members understand that. But as I say, at the end of the day, people have uh, families to look after. In terms of safety, yeah. uh, we are... Uh, the, the government has brought in legislation long before this new legislation to require fire services to put in place resilience plans, as it's described, contingency arrangements, and each uh, year they're supposed to check that. We've always been assured by ministers and by chief fire officers that all those plans are perfectly adequate. So that's their responsibility. The question about public safety is one that sits with the government and with chief fire officers. It is their responsibility, not the responsibility of firefighters who are trying say, to look you after know, you their wages. You say that the safety is, on, is, is at the door of the government and others, not individual uh, firefighters. But if I just want to look at, for example, this is uh, Billy Holland of the West Midland Fire Brigades Union. He said, um, we expect fire services to depend on the small number who choose not to strike to provide cover during any periods of action. It goes on to say, you know, there will be an agreement that allows firefighters and control staff to respond to major incidents during strike action if they wish to do so. I mean, it sounds an awful lot like you are putting, well, you know, well, safety on individual firefighters to make that First of all, decision. we need to look at the legal response. The legal responsibility sits with the fire authority and the chief fire officer. We have uh, reached, since 2002, in any dispute we've had, we've reached what's called a major incident agreement. That allows firefighters to return to work in case cases of major incident. That's negotiated at a national level and then applied at a local level. But Billy Holland will be reflecting what his chief officer has said in the West Midlands, as they have all over the country. Don't worry about it. And we can provide the quotes where they have said, i.e. the chief officers, don't worry, I've got it all in hand. They've never spoken to us about any of this, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the chief officer there will not have been negotiating with Billy though the details of what they have in place, that's, as I say, a matter well, for guess, the Chief Officer. I guess, you know, look, look, you're talking about the legal responsibility, and I'm sure you're completely right, you know, you're a guy who's very across the details, I, I defer to you on it, but I guess I'm just talking about the, the gut instinct that people have, you know, the, the fear that people will have, oh my gosh, the fire brigade is going on strike, am I going to be safe? What if there's a big fire? What's going to happen? But Sophie, the, 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 we did not call strikes, we announced before we... I'm not uh, talking about no, blame, just, I'm just me, talking about what, what, let me make what, point. what we, we, should people we expect? Delayed. If there is a big fire, what happens? We delayed calling any strikes for 10 days to allow our employers to negotiate a settlement. We want to avoid a strike in the first place. At the re we've got to look at why there are strikes in uh, key sectors, health, ambulance, fire service, because yep. 12 years of driving down workers' wages, Look, and that's said, not acceptable. You've, you've...